Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I apologize for how long it's been between videos this time, but today I'm super excited to show you how I went about installing this ARB air compressor in the back of my wings here. So guys, I've really tried to take the time to make this a neat install and something that you'll be able to follow along with pretty easily. So, um, you know, just using stuff that I had around the shed that wasn't any specialty tools or anything like that. Um, I've gone and made a, you know, pretty neat piece of ply to mount this to. That's all pretty sturdy. Um, and we've recessed our air valve into the wings because as I'm sure you'll know, um, if we had this out here on the wing, it'd hit the tailgate and the tailgate wouldn't shut. So I've tried to make this um, pretty simple and, um, you know, looking pretty good for you guys today. So I hope you enjoy. Now my plan is to mount this air compressor down in the side of the wing here somewhere um, and have the air output just in the side of the wing here. Um, but mounting it is my next issue. But what I'm thinking, you'll see here in this, this if you remember correctly, this was the piece, of car the piece of carpet that I didn't actually replace. But what we've got here is an old seat belt mount, uh, an old seat mount bracket thing, and an old tie down point. So they should all have screw holes, bolt holes underneath. So we can cut away at that underlay, might be able to get a nice piece of ply to fit in here, and we can go and mount it down here, and then we'll be able to mount that compressor on top of the piece of ply. So the next step was to wire this compressor in. I had already run these heavy cables from the engine bay back to the rear wing in preparation for this when I recarpeted my cruiser. So I just tapped into the loom and soldered them in. I need to find a good place to mount this fuse um, that's gonna be accessible in the engine bay. And finally, you might remember that I put a switch for the air compressor in my roof console when I installed that. So I just had to tap into the trailer wire loom that went up there and put my sense wire from the air compressor loom to that switch. All right guys, so here is the verdict. I've got the air compressor in here uh, mounted. I've got the positive and negative run back. Um, I've got the pressure switch on. I've just got to connect um, the power to the motor, which I'll do after I've put the battery terminals on. Got our relay mounted down there. Currently I've run the switch wire just like that, just because I want to test that this works first of all. You see, they've given us they've given us the wires for uh, a complete switch, but I've already got one wired in up there. So all I want is the sense wire, which comes down from the roof console, and that goes to that red one there. So we're just gonna test that and make sure that's okay before we go and cover it all up. And then up in the engine bay, 
we've got these wires run up here. Fuse, just gonna mount that to the side of the body. Um, and our positive and negative, right ready to go on. So let's put it together and give it a test. We've got our sense wire temporarily hooked up there. All right, let's give this a test. Oh, have a listen. Okay, so I need to tighten up some fitting. But apart from that, that's doing its job. So the next problem that I had was that I needed to recess this air valve because if I didn't, it would actually hit the tailgate and interfere with the closing of the tailgate um, and we'd run into a problem. So um, let's have a look at how we did that. You can see here that the problem is if I had this sitting up with the level with the drawers, it'd clash with the tailgate when it was closed. So I'm gonna have to um, offset that inwards a little bit so that it's not sticking out quite as far. Dad and I decided that the base of this water bottle, this stainless steel water bottle, would actually work perfectly to mount that air valve in and recess it into the back of the wing. I used this multi-bond glue, uh, which is basically just a contact glue to stick the carpet back down onto the aluminium. Um, I just picked this up from my local supermarket. And once that was tacky and I could put the carpet down, the base of a heat gun in that hole, just to push the carpet to the inside of that water bottle there. And once that was dry, I could take it out and it was all stuck down nicely. I hit the inside of that water bottle base just with a bit of um, satin black paint just to make it look a little bit tidier and then we can go ahead and mount the valve in there. I used some brass fittings and a length of air hose between the compressor and the valve. This gave me the flexibility to have the valve um, as far away as I wanted from the air compressor um, and it didn't really matter um, how accurately I mounted everything because that hose provided some room for error. So there you go guys, I hope you found this helpful today um, and I hope it's something that you can pretty easily do at home yourselves. If you have any questions about how I put this together, please don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment down below or message me on social media or find my email. Some people do that and it's, it's easy to get back um, really quickly and hopefully answer your questions. So you know, if you haven't, please remember to subscribe and show your support for this channel, it really means a lot. Um, once again, I'm sorry that there's been a bit of space between videos, but working on hopefully releasing some more really soon. So thanks for following along guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.